In Spanish, most nouns that end in I-O-N, accent on the O, are feminine. And a few examples are la relación, and you can repeat after me if you'd like, la relación, relationship, la pasión, passion, la comunicación, communication, la sensación, sensation, la organización, organization. And these are feminine and most of them that end in ION are feminine. And that's a great rule to apply so you don't have to memorize a bunch of genders as you're learning words. Now, there are a few exceptions, and the two most common are el avión, you can repeat after me, el avión, plane, el camión, truck, and those are masculine. Now, whether they're feminine or masculine, when you make these words plural, you add an ES like you do whenever, you're, whenever uh, you have a word that ends in a consonant in Spanish and you drop the accent because the way you're saying it is different. So if I were to say la relación, okay, the plural is, is las relaciones and you just drop the accent and you add the ES. Whether the noun is feminine, like la relación turns into las relaciones, and you can see how I pronounce it differently, and that's why we drop the tilde. Or el avión, los aviones. So that's how you can memorize not just I O N nouns that end in I O N in Spanish, but how you can make them plural and differentiate between the ones that are feminine, which is most of them, and the few that are masculine. Now, if you want more tips on grammar, vocab, slang tourism, anything to do with the Spanish language, go to makingspanishsimple.com and subscribe today and follow all of my social media accounts on YouTube, Instagram for more content that I cultivate almost daily. So check it out at the link below.